We're going to be narrowing our focus down specifically to Lakewood, Ohio. Ryan, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, folks. And if this is the first time you've ever seen this show... What this is, what you get with this show is you get me, you get my team. We're working one-on-one to uh, start, build, grow, uh, you know, set your rental portfolio up, man. That's what we're here for. We're working one-on-one. You're telling us your wants, your needs, your goals, what you think you want to do, what you've heard. And we're trying to really provide you guys with some, uh, you know, in-depth transparency and analysis on the market. This is a paid product. You got to pay to play, uh, which is good for you because you talk to other realtors, right? How do realtors make money, folks? They make money by closing a deal, right? Me, I'm never going to apologize for uh, the money I make or wanting to get paid. And as a matter of fact, you wouldn't watch my show if I wasn't good at making money in the real estate business, right? So I'll never apologize for charging people to work with me, right? If you don't pay, you don't play. That's how I do it. But that's a benefit for you, right? Because what I'm going to do, I'm already setting myself up to get paid. So I don't need Ryan to close the deal to get a paycheck, okay? I'm already squared away. So what I get to do is I get to give Ryan my most unbiased opinion on everything. And Ryan, man, you are a newer investor to the Cleveland market. You live in Texas, right? And you are really interested in Lakewood, among other things. But I wanted to start our relationship off with Lakewood, and I really wanted to just break down the Lakewood market for you. So what I've done first is I have got on the screen every property, every duplex, every multifamily, actually. Let me clarify. Multifamily, right? One to four units, okay? Uh, I've broke down that. I've got every single property that is available in Lakewood for you on the screen. And as you'll see, dude, there's only four, okay? We got four properties. The very cheapest one is $102,000, and I just want you to just immediately cross this off. Don't even think about this because this is like – a one-off situation. It's 102 grand, so obviously you'd be like, oh shit, let's check that out. That's like not a normal property, okay? It was built in 1898, and from the notes, it appears a very, very expensive renovation, which per your email, I don't think you got that kind of cash sitting around. Uh, it's going to need a huge renovation. It's just a, a one-off. Like I believe there is a dirt floor in the basement, not an actual concrete floor. So let's not even consider that, okay? That's not normal. The other three properties, though, are going to be very reflective of what you're going to see in Lakewood. 179, 9, 220, and 289. These are, you know, standard what you're going to see in the city of Lakewood. So I wanted to do uh, an analysis on 2029 Chesterlin Ave in Lakewood for you because this is a, a perfect synopsis, right? This is literally, if we don't count the property with a dirt floor, this is literally the cheapest duplex you can possibly get in Lakewood right now. It's been on the market for 29 days, and that's kind of a long time, right? For Lakewood, this stuff moves, dude. The reason there's only three real properties on the market is because one, two days on the market, boom, it's already gone. It's hot, bro. So if you're interested in Lakewood, great. We're going to go over the numbers. Uh, but you need to understand this market because investing in the Lakewood market, it's it's – it's very different. I get a lot, a lot of investors that reach out to us, and they, they hear good things about Lake because it's a very nice city. It's a great place. A lot of people want to live there, and tenants pay a lot of rent. But what people don't understand when they're starting to invest and they're trying to get into the liquid market, they don't understand how high the prices are going to be, number one. Number two, they don't understand how fast properties are going to move. And then number three, they don't understand how the numbers are going to work out. I think a lot of investors... What they do is they do their numbers, they do their calculations, and they make offers that fit their numbers, the cash flow, But which makes sense. I get that. But what you have to understand is you really have to understand your market. You have to understand what you're buying. You have to understand what's driving your market. Lakewood, super nice, super awesome. But you know what? Lakewood is not a market that is driven by investors. It's driven by the owner-occupied market, right? I didn't pull up single-family homes for you because single-family homes even more so are going to be driven by the owner-occupied market. So the prices that you'd have to pay for these homes 
Uh, you would never cash flow on them. Yes, you could do a little bit of cash flowing on the duplexes, uh, but it's not going to probably be what your expectations were. And you might think, why would anyone ever pay that price if it doesn't make money specifically with what it's got, which is the situation here. But you have to understand who's buying these properties, dude. The people that are buying these are people that are going to house hack, right? I'm sure you've heard the term house hacking. Y'all probably have. You know, house hacking is a great thing, man. You could do like an FHA loan, okay? You know, you're a new, you know, new, uh, new home buyer, right? First time home buyer, right? Get an FHA loan, dude. Three and a half percent down. You buy yourself a two hundred thousand dollar house in Lakewood. You only need seven thousand dollars as your down payment. You live in one of your units, and you go ahead and have the tenant in your other unit pay almost all your mortgage. So you're, you know, living for very, very cheap, right? That's the type of people that are buying these properties in Lakewood. That's what's driving the, uh, the price points. Okay. So this particular one. 179,900 cheapest property in Lakewood. Currently we got a 3 bed and a 2 bed. The 3 bed tenant pays 8, the 2 bed tenant pays 7. So it brings in 1500 a month or $18,000 a year. Now, that is low. That is not the market rate. The market rates, good news for you, are going to be much higher. The three bedroom unit at market rate is probably an eleven hundred dollar unit. The two bedroom un the two bedroom unit at market rate is probably a nine hundred fifty dollar unit. So two thousand fifty is the max rent you could bring in out of this property realistically. That's five hundred fifty dollars more. But we're not going to get too deep into that right now. What I want to show you is what you'd be getting if you were to buy this property today. Okay. So of that fifteen hundo that comes in. I'd estimate approximately 1,028 is going to go out the door every month on average. That's going to leave you with an NOI of 472. I know you wanted to make approximately $500 a month in cash flow, but you wanted to finance it. So this makes close to 500 bucks a month, but you'd have to come up with all cash, dog. You got to pay 180k out of your pocket to do that. That's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to finance it, right? So if you were to finance it at 179,900, because even though you might think it being a 3-1 cap, well, shit, I don't want to pay 200K or 170. I don't want to pay list price, almost 200K for a 3-1 cap. Them's the breaks, dog. If you want to invest in Lakewood, that's the price you're going to pay because it don't matter. Nobody else gives a shit that it's a 3-1 cap. The seller doesn't give a fuck that it's a 3-1 cap. Why? Because there's people that are going to buy it, right? Because remember, this market, Lakewood specifically, driven by owner-occupant, people that want to live in one unit, man, people that want high-quality real estate. So they don't give a fuck that it's 3-1, dude. Don't think that you'd be able to pick this up for a cheaper than list because you can't. I'm actually surprised it's still on the market. If I had to guess the only reason it's still on the market is because we have both of those tenants already in there. If one of these units was empty, no renovation done or anything, right? They're just in the same, uh, you know, the same exact uh condition that they are in currently i'll show you some pictures now like if not a damn thing happened it wouldn't even matter which tenant moved out right you see that these are dated and gross right doesn't matter not a penny of work done these you'd get like these little 19 uh, 1980 tiles right nothing done if one of these units was empty this sucker would have sold probably above list price on the first day on the market. That's that's just how this market works, right? So the fact that there's two tenants in there is actually what's probably kept it on the market this long, right? So if you do pick it up, though, as it sits, bro, you're going to need to put down $44,975, all right? So that's going to give you a $568 a month mortgage, which, as you'll notice, is actually more money than your anticipated net operating income, right? So if you were to pick this property up as it currently sits, I would calculate for you that it would, on average, lose you $96 a month, lose you over $1,100 a year. So, of course, you know, you're not making any money. It's, you know, not a cash flow positive property as it sits, cash flow negative. Now, that said, don't forget, though, bro, those rents are low. So there is more meat on the bone right there, you know, it's not like it uh, would never make you money. It could make you money. As a matter of fact, as it sits, right, if we got the rent up to market rate, 2050 a month, that would pencil out to be an average of $454 a month cash flow, right, which is exactly what you asked for. You wanted approximately $500 a month in cash flow, and you were very interested in Lakewood. But the thing is, dude, to get to those rents, right, to get to that 2050, as you've seen from the photos earlier, both those units, they're looking pretty scuzzy, right? So you're probably going to have to put about 
dollars into each of those units. So that's another 30 G's, right? So you'd have to be all into this thing for approximately 210,000 to eventually get that amount of rent coming in and make your approximation of $500 a month. So you can do it. That's how the numbers would work out. And the other cool thing, too, is the resale value. Extremely high, bro. Uh, in addition to that cosmetic reno, right, making it look good. If you had, uh, you know, newer roofs and, like, mid to end of life furnaces and hot water tanks, you'd probably be able to sell that sucker for, like, a 230 240 if it was totally vacant. Maybe even 250 right, because, you know, an owner-occupant would come in and pick it up, right? So, you know, the potential's there. Uh, it's just you have to understand this market. You have to understand what drives the market, right? Whenever you're trying to uh, sell one of your Lakewood properties, uh, if you're trying to cash out, you know, make as much money as possible, increase the internal rate of return, that type of thing, you got to know your market. And the market of Lakewood is always going to be best served to sell these duplexes either vacant or with at least one vacant unit. Once you have two tenants in there, it really cuts off a lot of those owner-occupied buyers, and it really cuts down that price. Because, you know, the rental investors, they're looking at shit like, oh, it's a 3-1 cap, fuck that. Oh, it's actually losing $96 a month. It must be a bad deal, fuck that. Not exactly, not a bad deal. No, it's a good deal. You just have to understand the market, right? So that's Lakewood. So I thought it was important uh, to show you this property, right? Because, again, there's only three real properties in Lakewood, and... Uh, you know, the other two are just more expensive, of course, right? The other one, uh, that's going to be even more money. That's 220 k and then the one on Bunce is 289 k So if uh, you are ready to make a move, uh, the Chester one would probably be the most feasible one for you. If that doesn't, uh, you know, fit with what you're doing, man, that's why I wanted to, to just give you one, right? You got two videos from me. You ordered two properties, right? We're going to be looking into two properties for you. I wanted to show you Lakewood. If that is, uh, you know, what you were anticipating, great, man. Let's make a move on this property. If not, now you know what you get with Lakewood. You understand the Lakewood market. You understand how business would go if we were to try to target Lakewood for you. And uh, if that doesn't fit you, hey, that's cool, man. That's how this process works. That's what this one-on-one -on -one is all about, bro. You're uh, watching this video. We sent it to you in a private link. Give me your feedback. Let me know. Be like, hey, man, after watching your video, I uh, I either, A, I love it, let's do it, this is the offer, or, hey, man, after watching your video, it's, you know, I wasn't aware that uh, it was going to be like this, this, and this in Lakewood. Uh, let's go ahead and shift gears a little bit, right? If you want to look for more cash flow, more cash flow right off the rip, we're going to have to go down in neighborhood quality. But, you know, I can find you some stuff in like a C-class neighborhood, not going to have as high demand as Lakewood, something that's going to have a higher cash on cash return and a higher cap rate right off the rip. And, you know, we'll be at like 100 k or less. Our rents are going to max out at like 750 a unit or less. Uh, you know, so we're going to have that higher return. But remember... It's not going to be as easy as Lakewood. It's not going to be as cake as Lakewood, right? You know, when you do watch the Tenants from Hell show, you got to know that, you know, C-class neighborhoods, D-class neighborhoods, F-class neighborhoods, that's where we're, we're getting that content from, right? So, you know, <clears throat> when you put a property on the market, I can't tell you on day one of us going out to lease that property, we're getting like 10 offers from 10 tenants who are all going to pass the credit and criminal check and have dual incomes, college educated. You're probably not going to get that type of experience. So it's going to be a trade-off, man. What do you want? Do you want to, to chase the returns but deal with more BS and as the years go by, deal with more evictions, things of that nature? Do you want to pay more up front uh, and get in on something that is going to be very much a set it and forget it, man. So let me know what you want to do. And then the next video I do for you, I will narrow down the focus. We will laser focus on that and see how things go. That's all I've got for you today, Ryan. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise. And this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse. 
founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless. From reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.